Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jude from Happiness and Crafting. So today um, I'm going to make some sort of like travel embellishments. Now I'm, this is going to be, I'm still working on the um, travel journal. I've done a few bits and pieces in here already, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I thought I would just make some little um, embellishments to actually go into the into the journal. Now this is just like a standard little paper clip that I normally make. Um, and I've just got this old map here, which is of Spain and Portugal. Um, and I've just grunged it up a little bit with some um, vintage photo um, distress ink. Um, and I've just torn bits off and stuck them on, bits of fabric. This is the fabric that I sort of like coloured in the last video. I showed you the, the cover of the journal. Um, so I've used, just used bits of that as well and of course some cheesecloth and popped it on there and these ones I've just used very simple these are just using the um, the map with bits of fabric on there and what I wanted to do is just pop them into oopsie daisy pop them in here just so they sort of like go onto the edge of the pages like that just a little embellishment so it would just stick on there stick down so it doesn't matter um, how flimsy it is it can just stick on there so it just decorates the the page and also i found some um i brought these ages ago these are some stamps and they're portuguese stamps um as i was looking through them they got some with like little aeroplanes on them um they've got little boats on these ones these ones haven't but they look really nice this one's got a train on it and i thought one of the pages on here wherever it was like these ones I thought I would just embellish just a little stamp on there um, just to put a little colour on the page because obviously I don't want to cover that up too much I might pop a little pocket or something down here but I thought that looks really nice just like a little stamp and some of these I might just sort of like pop in the corners um, which I thought looked really nice so I shall be doing that as well oops bits everywhere okay so these are quite simple so all as I've done, I've got the map here, which I've distressed, and I've just taken sort of like ripped little sections off it like this. It doesn't matter sort of how big they are. Then I'm just going to distress it up a little bit, just where you've torn it so you don't see the white edges. And then I've got, this is some fabric that I dyed. This is from, um, it was, what was it? the um, ink sprays that I did from the crepe paper that I used um, on these ones um, so I've had these for a little while and they're all scruffy but I think it looks really nice just these little bits I think it just gives a um, little bit of texture um, to your journal and then what I'm going to do I'm just going to use a little bit of this just to back it just a little bit it's just See if I can tear this. Oops, that's not very big piece, is it? Let's try again. There we go. Just a little bit like that. Chop that off. Like so. So I'm just going to just stick that on the top like that. I will sew them at some point. Because um, I've just gone in, around this one here just to sew it on, just so it's a little bit more secure. But you can just actually just stick them straight onto your page like that. So I'm just going to stick those together. I'm just going to use a little bit of this and then I will um, run the sewing machine over it. But again, if you don't have a sewing machine, just stick them directly onto your page. I'm going to stick that one there. A little bit of glue, don't need too much glue because I'm going to sew it and that's as easy as it comes, that's it. So just if you find some, what I want to do with this, this journal is use the sort of like the, the greens and blues and browns in it, I think because that's sort of like travel colours to me um, and sort of like a beigey colours. Um, so try and sort of like pick all your bits of fabric or your little bits of embellishments that um, are in those sort of like colour categories and then um, you've got everything there and then just add, you can add sort of like a little stamp onto it as well which I think are really nice 
So let's do this one. This is a bigger one, which I might actually make into a paper clip. So let's, where's my ink? There we go. Also, get this is just some um, coffee stain uh, paper that I've got, so I'm just going to take a little bit of that like that. Cut it. I'm going to leave that little dangly bit off there because I quite like that. So that will just sit on there like so. I'm gonna Where's my other little one? My little finger dobber. I like these. Just ink round the edges like that. And then I need a paper clip. There we go. Little paper clip there. Oops. That will just stick onto there like that. And then we just add little bits and pieces. So I'm going to stick this down with, I think, a glue stick on this one. Because I will go around the edges with the sewing machine. So I'm going to just stick that on there like that. Then we'll pop a little bit of this on there, a little bit of this glue, Should we stick it Oops. on there like that I think, so these are quite quick and easy, just layering little bits up like that. Stick that closer to the edge, I think, so I can just, when I sew it, all just catch with the sewing machine like that. And I might actually then just stick a little stamp on there, which I think I will do with this glue. This glue is a little bit stronger. Easy peasy. So I think they look really nice. I like that. Right, let's get a little bit more map. Tear these down. These are just ones I just want to edge the papers. Just edge the um, corner of the pages, I mean. Just so because obviously I don't like to fill the, the, my journals up with a lot of um, too many embellishments because I, like I like to be able to journal in mine and I like to be able to sort of like see the pages so I'm going to add another little bit of this grungy old fabric I can't remember what this fabric was now, where it's from but I quite like it because it's all sort of like scruffy and grungy I'm going to pop that down. Let's have a little bit of cheesecloth this time. Wrinkle it all up. Like this. I'll probably just pop that underneath. A bit of glue. So if you've got any old maps you can use and you can pick them up from um, charity shops as well and they have also they have lots of stamps in there as well I actually got the the Portuguese ones from a market and he had absolutely loads of them so I just picked up a couple of packs which are like this they just sort of like come in little packs so I've got all sorts of lovely stamps in there to use and then what I will do I will just go around that with the sewing machine um, and that will sit on the corner of a page or on the edge of a page what else I wanted to show you was I've got these oops these tiny little envelopes that I was gifted 
and they're really nice because these ones are lovely because they've got maps on um, and what I've done I've just sort of like gone around the edge with some um, the ink the vintage photo ink um, and I thought because there is a stamp on there already but I thought I might actually pop the real stamp on there like that which I thought was quite nice so that will just stick down with a little bit of glue like that and pop that over the top just like that so I thought that looked quite nice and then that can just pop I wonder if my journal cards would fit let's have a look these are the ones that come with a timeless travel mm, nearly oh they will just I think I will pop this one in here but I'm going to just trim it down just a tiny bit just so it will fit I think this edge probably sew around this as well like that like that will fit in there nice that's better perfect and that slots it in there like that and that would fit lovely in one of the pockets wouldn't it let's have a look we've got a pocket there's a pocket so that's a nice little letter with a stump on it and I like that I'm going to pop that in there so I'm going to show you quickly I pop this one in here like that and all I've done I've sewn a piece of fabric to it so it flips out so it's just a section of fabric which I've just stuck onto this side um, and I've sewn around it before I've stuck it onto the page because I don't like to see sewing on the other side so I think that looks quite nice this one was one of the embellishments I hope you can see which I've just stuck um, just these edges around here add a little bit of fabric to that and pop that in there so that's like a little tuck spot I will grunge these up a little bit more but I just wanted to pop things in here for now and then go back to it this one here I've got a little um, flip over thing there and then this opens up and I've got a little pocket in here which I've made of a bit of lace I've got one of the journaling cards in there and then I've got made a little pocket here to pop a little card in so that fits in there like that that folds over and that clips over so that doesn't flip around so I thought that was quite nice too that was just a little postcard which I popped on which we could actually now use let's take this paper clip off I could actually just pop that one on there couldn't I like that this one that I've done I've just made two pockets like that uh, I've made a fabric one and then I've just made this one which was out of the papers that we made from the napkins so we've just got a couple of little um, pockets there on top of each other which I thought looked quite nice on the page and I think that's probably about all I've done so far so there we go so we're just adding to it and then these bits again like I said will go on to here so this one with a little bit will just sit there like that and then this one will go on a side page like that side so it flips over there which I think is nice so let's make a few more shall we so that one needs to be sewn on the sewing machine and that one and these two so they've already been done so let's take another bit of this which is quite handy so you can sew them you can make them as big as you like um, get rid of that little white bit there I think Just making these little extra bits I think that makes um, the journal sort of like a little bit different because obviously each embellishment is going to be completely different to the last one because we can't get them exactly the same I'm going to use a little bit of this one I think it's a little bit different color let's just chop that off there see if this will rip 
Oh, yep. Here we go. Pour the tea. So I think I'll have this so it pokes out this side. There's a little bit of fabric that can go on there. And maybe a little bit of cheesecloth. Just, oopsie daisy. Just pop that in like this. Wrinkle it all up. Just gives it that nice little bit of texture underneath. A little bit of glue stick because I'm going to be sewing these. So it only needs to be, oops, let's chop that little bit off. So these only need to sort of like be held down um, just so that we can sew. Wrinkle this one up a little bit more. Scooch it up. And then that one there. And once I've sewn that, I think I will probably pop a little stamp on there as well. Just in there. But I don't want to add that yet because I don't want to sew over the top of the stamp. So I'm going to just pop that there so I know what I'm going to do. And also what I've got, these are key rings that I had because um, as some of you know I make, I paint dragon's eyes and these are the key rings that I put the dragon's eyes in. And what I thought I might do is just get one of my glass cabochons and pop a map underneath like that, I think. Um, I'll find a nice sort of like bit of map and pop it underneath and then a glass cabochon over the top. So I will show you how I do that in my next video, which I thought might look quite nice. And also I've got some little bits. I've got a pair of binoculars. I've got the Eiffel Tower. And I've got a little clock here. And these are all sort of like in the brassy, coppery sort of like looks to them, which I think um, go with the, with the book. Um, so I thought those are nice little pieces too. So I thought maybe we could sort of like... I was going to sort of like hang this, maybe I've attached something onto here, I've got to do the, the spine of the book and I'll probably hang that off there which will look quite nice. And a few of these dingly dangly somewhere in the book on here, which looks quite nice. So that's what I will be doing, so I'm going to carry on with some more of these. Um, so do give it a go. It's quite nice for the travel to actually use the um, the map on here and some stamps. Um, so there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Please do give it a go, um, and I will see you next time. All right, take care. Bye bye.